February 24th, 1897 to August 3rd, 1900. These two dates enclosed Charles de Foucault's stay in the Holy Land. He had recently concluded his experience in a Trappist monastery where he had stayed for seven years. There, his restlessness and an interior attraction to the hidden life of Jesus pushed him to look elsewhere. He wanted to be a simple worker like the Son of God and live in solitude and hiding. He wanted to choose the last place. Shortly after his conversion in 1888, he went to the Holy Land on a pilgrimage. This nostalgia had impressed itself deeply upon his heart. He himself confided to his cousin, Marie de Bondy, I am thirsty to finally lead the life I've been looking for since seven years. The one that I glimpsed, discovered, walking through the streets of Nazareth. The dust at the feet of our Lord, poor craftsmen, hidden between poverty and obscurity. Therefore, when Charles de Foucault arrived in the Holy Land, he found himself in a time of search and passage. This is the time in which he was impregnated with the spirituality of Nazareth that so much forged his life in the following years. The years on the Holy Land marked the watershed between his monastic experience of the Trappists and his mission among the Tuareg. It was a turning point, not only because of the Gospel's words that talked to him, but also for the maturation of his priestly vocation. During the three years that he lived in Nazareth as a guest of the poor Clares, he came to Jerusalem four times. He was invited directly by Mother Elizabeth of Calvary, foundress and abbess, who, having understood the depth of his interior life, had a profound influence on his decision to become a priest. In his conversations with Mother Elizabeth, he felt in complete harmony. For the first time and through her mediation, the secret desire that he had harbored in his heart came out into the open. In a letter to his spiritual father, Charles wrote, It is evident that the generous proposal from such an affectionate, motherly and saintly soul absolutely matches with my secret desire, a desire that is still unknown to her. She makes possible what seemed impossible. All of a sudden, she puts in my hands all the possible means that seemed impossible to reach. Among his four trips to the Holy Land, the one between September 11, 1898 to February 20, 1899 was particularly meaningful. It happened here, at our Monastery of Jerusalem on the way to Bethlehem, which at the time was only halfway built. Today we can get to know the overall view of how our monastery looked only thanks to the drawings of Brother Charles. The sisters who knew him left a precious testimony in which they tell that based on the example of great saints, Father Charles spent all his time praying, reading the Bible, working, composing his works, and sleeping only two hours at night. 
He recited his bravery every day and spent long hours in the chapel. He lived in a small hermitage in the garden. The wooden walls inside were covered with his drawings, recycling every small fragment of letter paper or parchment paper that he found. Day by day, he covered the walls with wooden boards, with cards filled with phrases from the Holy Scriptures and from the Gospel. The Te Deum was also written in large letters next to his bed. On his table there was a great Christ in which was set a relic of the Holy Cross and an image of the Holy Family. Father, I give myself to you. Do with me as you will. For whatever you do, I thank you. I am ready. On the occasion of the Feast of Mother Elizabeth, Father Charles realized several gifts, including a canvas with an allegorical drawing of the religious life of the mother and a picture of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. He also drew a painting with the life stages of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, her patroness, who, together with the Virgin Mary, protects the monasteries in the Holy Land. Father, I give myself to I place myself in your hands because you are my father. There are almost a hundred artifacts of Brother Charles, including his drawings and writings that we keep in the archive. 
Among these, we would like to mention a precious 132-page handwritten notebook. It is a Christmas composition of 103 song text written by him to the tunes of traditional French melodies, harmoniously arranged to form an original work. During this period, Brother Charles translated and transcribed the liturgical office of the feasts of Saint Colette and the Holy Family into French. Father, I give myself to you. Do with me as you will. Mother Elizabeth often asked him to copy music, songs, or sermons. Among her requests, there were also drawings of sacred ornaments. They were real paper models of liturgical vestments that he made with perfect taste. Let only your will be done in me as is done. I place myself in your hands. Even after his departure from the Holy Land, Brother Charles continued to maintain correspondence both with the poor clares of Nazareth and Jerusalem. He always concluded his letter affectionately saying, I join in your prayers, I pray for you, and beg you to recommend me to the prayers of all the much venerated poor Clare sisters of Jerusalem. I will always be grateful, respectful, and most devoted servant of your community blessed in the heart of Jesus. What Mother Elizabeth said to her daughters after meeting with Brother Charles in the parlor was real. We live with a saint. He is truly a man of God. Mm-hmm.